you everyone for being here to honor memories of my dad. Um, I'm thankful to God for his blessings upon my dad. From the beginning of his life to the very end, my dad grew up as a fourth generation Christian. His um, grandparents um, they were also Christian, which is rare for his generation in Korea. Um, they came to Christ through missionaries from America. He was born to a very faithful um, Christian father and mother who held family service every night. My brothers and I also grew up having family service. He lived a blessed life and was able to serve God in many ways. He learned he had cancer last year in March of 2020. Despite being diagnosed as stage four and undergoing different kinds of treatment, he looked quite healthy and was energetic through most of last year and this year. He was visited by many friends and he got to see his family here last, this past October. He only went through physical suffering the last week or so of his life and we believe it was God's blessing that he did not suffer long. <clears throat> My father and I were very close. We talked often and had very lengthy conversations. Even when I was living in China in the early 2000s, before Skype and FaceTime existed, I talked to my dad very frequently. At that time, my dad was at the peak of his career, working at Chongqing University as vice president and then president. But he always made time to talk to me and made time for our family. He was a caring father who tried to provide us with the very best that he could. I have many memories of him going out of his way to do things for me. I felt that if he could give us the world, he would. He wasn't a perfect dad because no one can be that. But he did his best based on his understanding of what a good father should do. And I felt very loved by him and I understood God's love better because of him. Sometimes when I have doubts about God, I think about Matthew 7, 11, that talks about how if an earthly father can love us so and give us good gifts, how much greater must be God's love for us and his willingness to give us good gifts. My dad and I are quite similar in our personality. Because of this, he understood me very well and gave me advice that was fitting. I will miss talking to him. I'd like to share with you a story from my dad when he struggled the most in his Christian walk with God. I'm sure many of you are aware of his accomplishments and they're listed on his bulletin, but you may not know about the low points of his life, and I feel even they are a blessing. During college, my dad took a break to complete his two-year military conscription. After he finished, he said he really struggled with his faith. He barely felt like a Christian. <clears throat> and one day he took his Bible out and was just flipping through the pages, um, just going through the emotions of just reading the Bible when suddenly a neighbor came by and it was a Korean shaman. The shaman said he couldn't perform his ritual because of my dad's activities and that my dad needed to stop. My dad said he was so shocked and he realized then how powerful God was. He barely felt like a Christian, but God was still so powerful in him that it disrupted nearby shamanistic rituals. At this time, one of the reasons my dad was struggling so much was that he didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. I'm not sure if he knew, but my dad's initial ambition was not to become president of a university. When he met my mom, he told her that he was interested in becoming an orphanage director. Anyhow, he said that as he was struggling, he began to receive a message from God that it was okay he didn't know what he wanted to do, but that he should just do his best with the opportunities given him, and that God would bless him. That day, he had a dream of dark gray skies parting and light shining through, and he took that to mean things would turn out to be okay. So without having clear career goals, he returned to college and did his best to finish well because that was the opportunity given him at that time. 
He conti continued pursuing higher degrees because he felt that was doing his best. I guess his professors were impressed because he was invited back to be a professor. He did his best in working as a professor. I was appointed vice president and was then elected president. He did his best with that and was then invited to be the first foreigner board member of Westminster Seminary and then serve as part of the World Reform Fellowship leadership. Honestly, I sometimes struggle with making sense of my life and it's difficult for me at times to find meaning in my job. However, I remember my dad's encouragement to just make the best of the opportunities God's given me and God will honor and make use of my best efforts. That's what motivates me to work hard. I'm so thankful to my dad for teaching me this and the many other good advice he's given me. He was a wonderful father, a loving husband, a loyal friend to many. He was a man of integrity and a faithful, lifelong servant of God. I hope to be able to follow in his footsteps.